Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and welcome to the start of a Christmas alien romance reading vlog. The lovely bee over at Mama Needs to Read Romance, I love her so much, asked me to collaborate on a video with her and we are going to be doing reading vlogs over holiday themed alien romances and I'm really excited for this. I already downloaded a few onto my iPad and I am ready to dive in. I'm filming the beginning clip at the beginning of the month and I just think um, whenever I do pick one up, I'll just update this vlog for you. And yeah, I'm really excited because I plan on reading quite a few. I'm not gonna be including the ones that I read for the novellathon because that's gonna be like a little thing in and of itself. Um, but these are like the other ones that I plan on reading throughout the month. Oh my gosh, this sun flare is like killing my eyes. <laughs> that's what I get for trying to use natural lighting for once. Anyway, um, we are going to be picking up some novellas. So the two that I currently have on my Kindle app are ones that I'm super excited for. First, I have... Let me pull it up. The cover is beautiful. The Holly King's Sacrifice by Chloe Parker. It looks good. It doesn't have a lot of ratings, but like this cover is stunning. And then I also have Grumpy Alien Santa by Liz... Pafel. I haven't read books from either of these authors. I just searched on the search bar on Amazon like alien Christmas romances novellas. <laughs> Those were all the buzzwords for me. And then I did download this book for free today. It was free. This is Claimed by the Alien Bodyguard by Tiffany Roberts. And there's like a Christmas tree in the background. So I think this has to do with Christmas as well. And like, I will make up any excuse to pick up a Tiffany Roberts book. So, and those are three that I currently have downloaded, but we'll see which ones I pick up. But I'm very excited to collab with B, and I can't wait to see what books she picks up as well. I hope I get some great recommendations. I have some novellas to review for y'all. So I have finished two holiday, Christmassy, whatever the case may be, alien romance novels. Okay, so first is The Holly King's Sacrifice by Chloe Parker. This cover obviously drew me in. This is stunning. I think this is like 80 something pages and our heroine Aspen has kind of been offered up as a human sacrifice to what her village deems to be the devils, the people who inhabited the earth a few years ago that look like devils. They fully think that it's devils from hell but actually they are aliens from another planet that just happen to have red skin and they've been ostracized by humans because they think they look like the devil um but the heroine was ostracized from her own village because she kept questioning like how do we know these people are bad like what is going on so they just shun her and offer her up as an offering to the holly king and that happens to be the hero who's one of said red aliens so that's why i'm gonna say with that one that one was really fun um it kind of gave me a soul to keep by opal rain vibes a little bit that one's a five star read i absolutely love that book the beginning of this book definitely reminded me of that he even wears a mask that looks like Orpheus from that book that has like the skull and the horn, the deer skull face and the horns and stuff. He wears a mask like that. So the heroine at one point like thinks that that's what he looks like, but it's just a mask. So um, this was a fun, quick read. I read it like in one sitting. And then same thing with the other one that I read, which is Grumpy Alien Santa by Liz Puffell. This one, our heroine, is a researcher on this planet that the hero lives on and she doesn't know but she's a part of a like mating ritual thing. Um, women who are wanting to be taken as a mate will step inside this red circle and the heroine's going there to observe it but she's kind of like on the phone with someone like being very upset about something and is like pacing while she's walking and she accidentally walks into the circle. Little does she know that one of the aliens has been admiring her from afar and sees this as the perfect opportunity to take her to his place afterward and like make her his because like she's a part of the ritual. Okay, because she was in the circle. <laughs> this was fine. There's also a point in here when she like wants him to dress up as Santa and then kind of like gets off on the fact that she likes him dressed up in the Santa Claus suit. <laughs> And I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so <laughs> I've read better. <laughs> I'm in the middle of another book, but it's not alien romance. It's monster romance. So I think I might like sprinkle a few monster romances in this video too. If that's okay. I hope that's okay, B. Um, but I'm currently reading Kidnapped by the Krampus. Like this was on my TBR for December. It looks so good. They, there's something called Krampus World, which is so cool. It's kind of like Santa's Wonderland, but it's Krampus themed. 
And the heroine has been coerced by her boss, like almost like blackmail e, like I'll fire you if you don't go do this, to get the inside scoop of the owner and CEO of Campus Krampus World, because apparently like some people think that he's actually Krampus. Um, and she's kind of going there to debunk it and gonna go spy on him and see if like it's just some guy in a suit, which I assume he's not. So and it's so far really good. I've only read the first chapter, so I really like it. Um, and the cover definitely sucked me in. So um, that's about it. I'm gonna go on a walk and listen to some other Christmas romances that are not a part of this video because they're definitely contemporary. So I have a little update for y'all. Uh, I know this one isn't really alien, but it's monster. So I think I kind of want to like put some monster in here too, if I'm reading them. Like it's holiday themed. So like, why not include it? You know what I mean? Um, so this is Kidnapped by Krampus. This one was interesting. <laughs> I loved the first part of this book. The heroine ends up getting kidnapped by Krampus. Like when she goes to Krampus World, there's this place called Krampus World <laughs> where everything's like Krampus themed. It's just so fun. Anyway, she gets kidnapped by Krampus and um, it is so hot. Like mm, if you want something hot, hot, like melt a puddle, hot, look no further, please. Like if you're wanting to fall out of your chair at some points, Mm, mm hmm so <laughs> and that's all i can really say about this like i don't really know what else to say like it's a krampus book they're very hot for each other i think there's like a curse involved and she's like there and he's trying to break the curse and that's all i want to say i don't want to spoil anything um but this was a fun read and like if you're wanting something hot during the holiday season and you love like monster alien romances please pick kidnapped by krampus i finished frost by ava ross I took a little bit of a break from this vlog to do the novellathon. Um, and so I started this book before the novellathon started and then I finished it last night and I found myself skimming through it. I honestly forgot about this book. I was trying to pick up something after the novellathon and I was like, ooh, what do I pick up? I completely forgot that I started Frost and so I needed to finish it. And it was fine. Like I honestly wanted to just like not finish it. I was so bored. If this is like the insta love that like i don't care for i only really love insta love when it's like faded mates and stuff like that or it's absolutely like bonkers book by like jessica kane because that's so fun <laughs> um but this one was just boring to me normally i love romances that take place like on a ranch or if they're snowed in but like this one just didn't really work for me like that just goes to show like tropes you love things you love in romance books don't necessarily work in every book that you read like i felt like this was a recipe for a great book but maybe it was my mood or the fact that i took a break from it i don't know but this just wasn't really vibing well with me um i have read an Ava Ross book but only when she was co-writing with star huntress they have co-written a few alien romance books together and i do like those books they're fine but again like it's like me comparing ruby elizabeth stevens and zoe draven to other alien romance authors it's really hard for me to Get them on that level in my brain so i need to pick out another book because i was like slogging my way through that one i found myself skimming which stinks um but i was kind of wanting to like read more of the books in the series but i don't know i may find the honey phillips book because there's honey phillips one and honey phillips is always a fun author for me when it comes to alien romances so i think i might find a honey phillips book to read. I'm going to be wrapping up this vlog. I have read one more book for this vlog, this collab with my lovely friend B. Um, I've read one more book that fits the alien romance Christmas theme. So um, let's talk about it. This one is definitely my favorite. Out of all the ones I read, I ended on a fabulous high note. This one is Krampus and the Crone by Honey Phillips. I will say it again, Honey Phillips is becoming like a fun alien romance author for me. Like her books, I eat them like candy like they're so fun to me they don't give like the emotional value sometimes that like a ruby or a elizabeth stevens or a zoe driven book will give you know what i mean it doesn't go full in depth but they're just super fun and i feel like also at the same time very well fleshed out so this one takes place on a planet that's not earth but humans have like a settlement there and there is this old woman that lives at the top of the mountain the snowy mountain who comes down to the village um and the village does not like her or like outwardly shows their distaste for her, but she just plops herself on a bench um, every now and then. And women and other people will come, mostly women, will come to get certain remedies or medicines from her like secretly. A lot of the time women will come who 
do not want to be pregnant anymore by their husbands. Like they want a contraceptive. Um, so they'll ask the heroine who is disguised as an old woman for the, uh, the contraceptive. The reason why she disguises herself as an old woman is because she does not want to be perceived as being like vulnerable and like a man could attack her in any way. Um, so she's grown up since she was a teenager, like disguising herself as an old woman to, in order to get into the village. Anyway, so our hero in here, our Krampus hero, I'm just gonna call him Krampus because I don't know how to say his alien name. Like it starts with Krampus and then it, there's more to his name though. I don't know how to pronounce it. So we're just gonna say Krampus, even that's not his name. <laughs> um, So Krampus, his ship ended up wrecking, he's an alien who looks like Krampus. Um, His ship ended up wrecking on this planet and he has these like little drones. He has a lot of high tech stuff on his spaceship. He has these drones that are, that look like birds basically. So he sends them out to like figure out what's going on on this planet while his ship is being repaired. And he comes across our hair when he's very intrigued by her before he even realizes that she's not an old woman. But then once he finds out, She's not actually an old woman. Man, does he fall hard from a distance? And that's all I really wanna say. It's, I don't wanna spoil it. It's super fun. There's also like a wonderful aspect of found family in here. There are a few books in this series, so I definitely wanna continue on. I did download the second one. We'll see if I read it before Christmas time. But I really like how she's like twisting the Krampus tale to be like for her books. So one thing I know about Krampus, like the, the Krampus being is that he steals children in the night. Like he takes children who are bad. And the way that Krampus went about it in this one is he's actually saving a little boy from an abusive situation and takes him back to his spaceship with him. And that's like, people think that he's been stolen, but he hasn't been. He was saving this little boy because he was in an abusive situation. So I do love Honey Phillips' take on that because other people might perceive him to be like, kidnapping children in the night when he's actually saving them. And I think the same thing goes with the other two books. Like there's like a little spin like that where other people think that, oh, Krampus is some evil guy stealing children when in actuality he's saving them. I really did love both of these characters. I felt like they were very well developed and um, I thought it was super fun. I really loved their whole interaction and everything. We have both characters who are also innocent characters. Like both of them have never been with anybody before. And um, I loved reading about them, learning about each other's bodies and just like how to love each other. So I really enjoyed this one. I ended on a high note for sure. I read quite a few novellas in this video, um, but definitely the last one was my favorite. Let me know down below if you've read any good alien monster holiday romances. I would love to know if you want recommendations. I actually have a whole recommendation video. I'll link it down below that I came out with like two weeks ago. And also be sure to go check out Bee's vlog. I can't wait to see what she reads. I think she said she might be reading one of the books that I talked about already. So I'm excited to hear her thoughts on that. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a um, snowman emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.